Hi Virgo, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you are cross-watching for a Virgo, keep in mind that the energies could be vice versa. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you so much for hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. Those of you that would like to skip ahead to the singles reading, there is a timestamp in the description box below along with the cross watchers spread. The person Virgo is thinking about. The person Virgo is thinking about. What are the messages? There's somebody burdened by the past here, Virgo. Some sort of memory burdens this person. Five of Swords, you're in conflict with someone or there was a conflict, a fight for the upper hand, a battle of egos with the devil. At the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Five of Swords. Well, the devil wanted to come out again, so this is definitely a fight for the upper, upper hand. Some of you guys, there was some type of addictions, okay, or codependency. Feeling stuck or trapped. But it's, you know, it's very interesting because the Five of Swords is like this energy of doing whatever it takes to get what one wants, no matter who they hurt. And that could be going on right now, especially if there's like some type of legal situation taking place or it doesn't have to be a legal situation, but it's definitely um, somebody here being incredibly selfish right now that you're connecting with and just really only interested in themselves and what they need and want from a situation. Like that five of swords does whatever it takes to get what they want. The Hierophant. So there could be a codependent situation that you're in with someone. Maybe this is a commitment or you two have shared commitments here. Could be a marriage for some of you, but I'm really just getting an energy here of being trapped, feeling trapped. This person and you both feel trapped to this commitment. The moon for how you see them, Pisces energy. We also have Taurus and Capricorn. I don't think you, I don't think you're seeing the situation correctly. I have to, I have to point that out because you see them as the moon. Uh, the moon can be um, a delusion. So I feel like, especially with the current astrology, you might not see somebody's intentions clearly. How you feel the lovers, Gemini energy. It doesn't make sense to you. Your Your feelings for someone don't necessarily make sense to you. Because you do feel very connected to this person. But I don't think you see them for who they really are, Virgo. So just be mindful of that. Gemini energy. Ten of Cups. Then we have the Page of Cups that wanted to come out. So this is not being naive towards somebody. I feel like, you know, you could really want to work out this situation with someone, but... I just, I, I want to break your delusion of who you think they are, Virgo. They're not who you think they are. And I know that's going to upset some people. And, you know, I have the comments turned off for a reason because, you know, sometimes when your delusion does get broken, it does upset people. But I'm here to give you clarity and you're not seeing this clearly. You're actually being naive to it. Because this person, it's almost like you feel like somebody may want good intentions for you, but they don't. And I'm getting this is specifically for those of you that are in a commitment with someone. 
or you know that's where it's headed but there's also this energy of you know there's your intuition is telling you that you may get trapped to something because like your intuition is telling you something but at the same time you're not wanting to see that you're just wanting this to be it and you could have overlooked a lot of the things that this person has already done to you. This is a specific message, so it doesn't resonate. Check your other signs, but I do feel like you're not seeing somebody for who they truly are. How do they see Virgo right now? King of Cups. They know you love them, or they know you have emotion for them. How do they truly feel about Virgo? Two of Cups. So, I mean, they feel, they have love for you. They do. I just feel like this person's toxic. They love in a toxic way. So, uh, there's no doubt here. Like, I feel like someone does genuinely have feelings for you. Like, there's love there. And they know you love them. But is love enough to be treated unfairly? I mean... So they feel like you're a soulmate or you're meant to be in their life. You feel the same way. But at the same time, it may not be logically making sense to you. This, You both have strong emotions for each other. The magician, but guys are very, they're emotionally manipulative. And they see you as like diplomatic, that you can see all sides of an issue. They like that about you. They like the fact that you're compassionate and you love unconditionally. And I feel like this person, they do have feelings for you. And I feel like this person is wanting to create something with you. But you are dealing with a very selfish individual. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, like, the Five of Swords being here is what's making me feel with the devil, the, the Hierophant. You might be getting yourself involved in a toxic situation and not even realizing it. Because I feel like somebody's very controlling. Very controlling. And you might not see this yet. Three of Pentacles. I do see somebody wanting to build with you though, Virgo. What do they want from Virgo? Seven of Wands. Why the Seven of Wands? To control you. Guys, this person wants to control you. Seven of Wands. This is almost like an energy like somebody here might make things harder than they have to be. Or might they like, like somebody here, it's almost like they want to make you feel crazy. Like, I feel like somebody here could shut down emotionally from time to time just to make you concerned about them. But it's telling me they want to control you. Like, it's almost like this person wants you to come at them. And then just so they can be like, what are you talking about? You're not really seeing what you're seeing, but I feel like that's the delusion. I feel like this is somebody that may have a tendency to gaslight you and to be manipulative. What do they like about Virgo? We have Aries energy. You could be dealing with another Virgo, a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Gemini, a Pisces. And this is not to paranoia anyone, okay? Only take the messages that resonate, guys. What they like, the Ace of Pentacles. The opportunity? Clarify that. They like how invested and they like how much you give. Like, they like that you give a lot and that you really invested yourself into them. They can feel it, guys. 
They like that you're willing to just offer and whatever whatever you have to offer. So I would just be very careful, guys, if this is resonating. Um, don't give all you've got to give to a situation until somebody here has earned your respect and trust. Okay, uh, you know, a lot of the times, and this is for somebody who needs a message, guys. So if you're already aware of that, that's great. But a lot of the times, um, people will take advantage of your good nature. And when we enter connections, if we enter a connection trying to, right off the bat, trying to prove ourselves and our worthiness to someone, the wrong person will see that as an opportunity to control you and to manipulate you and to feed off of you. And the moon being how you see them, you won't even know what's happening because you're so in love or... You know, this person gives you these really feel-good emotions. This person is really, like, it's almost like you're being fooled by somebody. And your gut knows it, but you don't want to see it. Because this is very convincing energy for you to feel all of this, okay? What are their next actions towards Virgo? What are their next actions in the immediate future? Four of Swords, they're taking a step back. And again, it's to control you to drive you crazy. Because this is a tactic they use. It's a manipulation tactic they use to get you hooked. So somebody here is going to be taking a step back. What you don't see, Seven of Swords, the bottom of the deck. To make you insecure. That's their next, guys, their next step is to take a step back. Whether this be, be distant from you. Or act like they're mentally somewhere else to make you insecure about yourself. Because this is how they control you. They want you to feel bad about yourself because that's how they control you. It's very sneaky energy. Yeah, could be another Virgo. And I just wanted to further clarify that. I do feel like there's going to be communication coming in. Things are going to be seeming like they're going well and they're elevating. And then they're going to rip it away from you. Whether this be a ghosting or, you know, somebody just emotion, someone just re withdrawing suddenly, taking a step back to make you insecure. It's, it's a strategic plan of theirs. That's what they do to keep people stuck on them. Let's see what their hidden truth is. Spirit, what is this person's hidden truth? <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah. So, you know, spirit is funny. I got to tell you, these cards, you know, in this deck, you can interpret or interpret them any way you want. Um, so their hidden truth, this is, I am becoming a better person. And then it says, I am afraid to contact you. Let me tell you something, what I'm picking up on from this reading. This person wants you to believe that they're trying. This person wants you to believe that they're doing their best, okay? This person also is going to make you believe that when they mess up, that they're going to be attempting to fix it, but they're not. And then the, I'm afraid to contact you. They're actually just afraid to connect emotionally with anybody. I feel like this person, and again, that's also them taking away their communication, making you feel like you did something wrong, Virgo, when you did not do anything wrong. So just be very mindful of this energy, guys. Um, signs you could be dealing with, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. I am getting strong Scorpio vibes here as well. All right, we're going to move on to the singles. Single Virgos. We're going to do who's coming towards you, and then we're also going to do what's coming towards you. So let's see. And if you would like to bypass the shuffling, you can click to the timestamp. Who's coming towards single Virgo?
Spirit, who is coming towards single Virgo, please? All right. Who's coming towards single Virgo? Okay. Ace of Swords, a breakthrough in communication. Um, I see just communication coming in. So what is coming towards success? I see a breakthrough in success, Virgo, whatever you're trying to accomplish here. I'm also seeing rewards, recognition. I see a lot of attention coming your way. Um, but who's coming towards you? It could be an air sign. I feel this person is very expressive. Very romantically attracted to you. Could be a Libra or a Taurus. You know, you're in this energy of like possibly taking a, state, a step back from love. Okay, uh, reassessing what it is you truly want. We have the Chariot Cancerian energy. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. So it does look like there's somebody here that is going to feel abandoned or rejected by you because that you do seem so withheld. Okay. Some of you guys might take a long time to respond to this person. It really bothers them. It's telling me they feel rejected when you take too long to communicate. Three of Wands. Yes, it's just somebody waiting for your communication. So I do see like a text message coming in. Somebody could be asking for your number and then messaging you. And then they're really waiting uh, a long time for you to communicate back. Ten of Cups. But, you know, you're in this energy of like... So I feel like you really like this person, but you're not trying, you're, you don't want to come across as too eager. Three of Pentacles, they really want to build with you. They want a relationship. But I feel like you're trying to appear to be, you know, held back. Some of you guys are held back, but it's like you do like this person. Like you see somebody as relationship material that's coming in. They're very attracted to you. Okay, a lot of you guys are career focused too, and you could be nursing a heartbreak still, some of you, or some of you guys are trying to get over an air sign uh, or an earth sign. Um, let's see. Yeah, but this person's not going anywhere. I feel like someone's determined. They're determined to get you to see them. They're determined to change your perspective on them. Um, Pisces energy, Cancer energy. So I just feel like it really bothers somebody. It could be a Libra, but it really bothers somebody when you're not responding. That's what I'm getting. So I do see somebody wanting to communicate with you and, you know, wanting to get to know you. They have a romance, a strong romantic interest in you, but it really bothers them when you ignore them. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So looks like you do have some type of communication coming in here. Okay. Um, this person's really interested in getting to know you. Could be an air sign or a fire sign or a Pisces or a Cancer. Libra Taurus is there as well. Now we're going to do um, cross watchers. Aries through Pisces. Watch their sign. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. So, you are dealing with an Aries, okay? This Aries thinks you have unfinished business with them. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they are upset, heartbroken, missing you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they would like to reunite or come together in the first place. Or, you know, this, this Gemini wants to date you. They've thought about it. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer... This cancer loves you. Golly. Uh, for some of you guys, if there's a new cancer around you, they have a high level of interest that I see it leading to love. Um, if you've already been dealing with this cancer, this cancer is in love with you. If you're dealing with a... <laughs> a Leo, sorry guys. If you're dealing with a Leo, this Leo is focused on work. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they've taken a step back from love in general, guys, from emotion. They're focused on work. They're making themselves their main priority. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo pushes you away on purpose. Four of Swords, yeah, somebody takes a step back and pushes you away on purpose to make you crazy. If you're dealing with another Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra is obsessed with you. Okay, um, that could be... You two could be toxic together, though, okay? Uh, unless there's issues that are actually worked out, I don't really see 
it's getting any better, but the Libra is obsessed with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is confused. They're not sure whether or not to move on. Okay, Seven of Cups, uh, they're very confused. Um, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, the Sagittarius is restless over you. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, they're still holding on to you, but I feel like they're also holding back. Four of Swords um, keeps coming out. So I just feel like someone intentionally holds back. 44 could be significant to you. If you are dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius wants you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces... Tell me more about that. This Pisces want, That's why I was feeling like this Pisces wants a new chapter with you. They want a fresh start. They would like to reunite. Okay. All right, Virgo. Those are your messages. Be sure to only take messages that resonate when you're watching tarot. And I do appreciate you guys hitting the like button. Until next time. Bye.